Were Williams and Wilmore truly stranded or not? The devil's in the details. Let's get into it. June 5th, 2024, Williams and Wilmore launch on the Boeing Starliner for eight days ISS test mission. Planned return was June 13th. June through August 2024, Starliner's thrusters and helium issues deemed the vehicle unsafe for return. Crew 8 Dragon capsule available as an emergency lifeboat. August 2024, NASA decides to return astronauts via SpaceX Crew-9, extending their stay from eight days to eight months. September 6, 2024, Starliner returns uncrewed, leaving astronauts on the ISS. September 28, 2024, Crew-9 Dragon launches with two astronauts instead of four, leaving two seats reserved for Williams and Wilmore to return home. November 5th, 2024, Donald Trump wins the U.S. presidential election. November 8, 2024, Crew 8 departs ISS, Crew 9 remains as solo emergency boat. January 20th, 2025, Trump inaugurated as president. January 28, 2025, Musk on X says, quote, The president has asked SpaceX to bring home the two astronauts stranded. We will do so. Terrible that the Biden administration left them there so long. February 18th, 2025, Musk on Fox News with Hannity says, quote, They were left up there for political reasons. At the president's request, we will accelerate the return. February 20th, 2025, Musk on X replying to a Danish astronaut, Mogensen, quote, you are fully retarded. SpaceX could have brought them back several months ago. I offered this directly to the Biden administration and they refused. Return was pushed back for political reasons. Idiot. February 25th, 2025. Musk on the Joe Rogan experience said, quote, We offered to bring them back earlier last year. Refused by the Biden administration because there was no way they were going to make anyone supporting Trump look good before the election. March 12, 2025, Musk on verdict by Ted Cruz said, quote, We could have brought them back months ago. They refused. It was purely political. They're coming back with Crew 9 now. March 14, 2025, Crew 10 launches enabling Crew 9's return. Today, March 18, 2025, Crew-9 undocks from the ISS at 6.35 a.m. with Williams and Wilmore and two other astronauts, landing in the Gulf of America off the coast of Florida, ending their eight-month stay, or 286 days. So, that is the timeline. That is some of the things that were said by Elon Musk, and that's some of the facts on kind of how they all went down. And if you watch me on the last JC Live show, you will know that I said that, listen, this is just not 100% factual. It is fact woven with fallacy, all intertwined. That's just simply how it is. And if you go back to 2024 August videos that I put together, you'll hear me explicitly say, right around August 7th, somewhere on there, that down the grapevine, we're hearing that the two astronauts are going to be coming back in February or March of next year with the next crew. This is what was said. Now, on August 20th, NASA officially stated the exact same thing that I stated two weeks prior. So they made it public. Once again, they made it official. That listen, the two astronauts will be coming back with Crew 9. And that's going to happen at the end of February, maybe March time. Because remember, each crew, each mission is approximately six months. That's just it. Very simple. And that's why I've always said when you hear stranded and you hear rescue, you have to take it with a pound of salt because that is not really the case because ever since then, August, this is prior to Trump taking the presidency. This is prior to anything. Back in August, they decided when, NASA decided when they were going to come back. So the reason I have problems with the words rescue and stranded is because when you hear stranded, if you just take a literal meaning behind it. Stranded, 
Well, they're not really stranded somewhere because they are on the ISS and the ISS is fully operational, right? Not only is it fully operational, they have food, they have water, and they have comms, full communication. So they're not really stranded somewhere. They're not like on a deserted island. I'll get into a deserted island in just a second. Also, they have a lifeboat, <laughs> okay? So they're not stranded, they have a lifeboat. That was the Crew 8 lifeboat before they left in November. So they had Crew 8 before Crew 9 got there. So that wasn't an issue either. They had a means of evacuation if necessary. So I view it as not they were marooned <laughs> on this deserted island somewhere. They were delayed, let's call it. That's the way I look at it. Now, once again, it's all in perception. It's how you look at things. The same thing with the word rescue. Rescue would mean there's some type of emergency, a necessity, an immediacy for evacuation, right? That's like a rescue. Crew 9 was determined, once again, in August of 2024 to be that rescue boat. This is not something that just came out of the air recently with a new administration coming in. No, this is once again from August of last year. August 7th is when I reported on it. And then once again, like I said, it was made official on August 20th. The word rescue suggests a dramatic intervention, let's call it, a necessity, like I said. And it wasn't one. Now, there's always two sides to every coin, right? The other side is that Elon Musk did ask the past administration, the Biden administration, to bring back those astronauts. Now, was he getting paid for doing so or not? I don't know. Maybe he was just going to do it out of the kindness of his heart to bring back these two astronauts. I don't know what the answer is to that. We do know that Elon Musk does a lot for the world in general. When there is some type of catastrophe or hurricanes or some event, he's always there bringing in his SpaceX Starlink and giving people access and saving lives. That's what he does. He is a good guy. I know some of you guys are going to be like, no, listen to this guy. He's like a fanboy. I'm not a fanboy. Am I a fan? Yes. Do I think he's brilliant? Yes. But if there's something wrong, I'm going to call it out either which way. So once again, there is two sides of this coin. The problem that I have with this is that not only are we seeing like these mistruths going on where we hear Trump saying, listen, get back those astronauts and do it in a quicker or a timely fashion accelerate the process. And then when you hear Elon says, yes, the president asked us to accelerate the process, blah, blah, blah. Well, in truth, nothing has been accelerated. The date remains hard and fast and true. That's just it. There was no acceleration, okay? The time was set in August. It was pushed back a little bit, right? Because of Crew 10, there was some issues, right? We don't want to get into the technical side of it. But the bottom line is it was pushed back a little bit, but the date was set already, August in 2024. Nothing has changed. Zip. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Do I think that Elon Musk did ask Biden? And do I think that due to political reasons, Biden said no, or his administration said no? Yes, absolutely. They could not in good faith, provide a proxy in their eyes of Trump to have any goodwill or support by the general populace, okay, for rescuing these stranded astronauts. It's not good. They couldn't allow that. So they said, of course, no, we're not going to do it. We're just going to let NASA do its thing and they're going to be brought back in February or March. We're not going to expedite things. So was that done for political reasons? I believe so. I truly do. Now, before I get into who is actually at blame here, in my personal opinion, let's go back to the deserted island thing and the reason why stranded and rescue just simply do not work. And the word stranded and rescue are simply hyperbolic is because let's view the Starliner as a ship. All right. And there was two people 
that were put on this boat, on this ship, and they were going to go to a deserted island to do some research. Now, they get to the deserted island and what happens? The boat sinks. Now, if there was no means of exiting that island, they're stranded, they're marooned, they need to be rescued. But if on that island there was food, shelter, there was communications, and a rescue boat sitting there on that island, are they stranded? Do they need rescuing? And the answer to that is no. But coming full circle, and the reason I think that a lot of this and the mainstream media has not got this right, and they've given Boeing a pass, a press pass, in my personal opinion, they are the ones that should be in the light. Not Elon Musk, not the president, not NASA, not anything. It should be Boeing and they have been given a pass. The reason I say that they've been giving a pass is because they are the ones that have the ship that sprung a leak. They should have, after a set period of time, let's say a month of Williams and Wilmore, going from being a pilot and co-pilot, which was their jobs, to all of a sudden becoming engineers and trying to figure out what the helium leak is and why is there a thruster problem. That's not their job. But after that period of time, they should have said, hey, Elon, here's some cash, get them back. Elon would be like, no problem, send up another dragon and bring those astronauts home. Remember, Boeing received around $4.8 billion from the U.S. government, from your taxpayer money. $4.8 billion. Do you think that they could have threw Elon Musk and SpaceX, $10 million, $20 million, whatever, to get those astronauts home? in a timely manner, absolutely. And they should have, but the press doesn't cover that. They don't even talk about that. This is the responsibility of Boeing. They screwed up. Their ship sprung a leak. They should have paid to send another up. Elon would have done it. He might even have done it for free. The Biden administration said no, but it doesn't matter if Boeing said yes. Boeing said, listen, we have two astronauts up there. They're the test astronauts, right? We need to get them back. They tested it, it's not working. The thing returned autonomously because it wasn't safe. Now we wanna bring those astronauts home. They were supposed to be there for eight days. Now they're there for two months, let's get them home. But they didn't do that. They just went silent. When have you heard of Boeing in the news at all, besides something negative because of a plane or something. You don't hear about them anymore about this. It's all about Trump, it's all about Musk. Trump is a bad guy, Musk is an ass. Burn everything down, burn the city, cut off your nose to spite your face, whatever it takes. That's all that you hear from mainstream media. You don't hear the truth. The truth is Boeing sprung a leak. Their ship was junk and they need to get the astronauts back and it should have been their responsibility and no one else's. But you don't hear that at all. So coming full circle, do I think there's a lot of truth? Yes. Do I think there's a lot of fallacy? Yes. Do I think the terms rescue and stranded are hyperbolic? 110%. But I do believe that Boeing once again got that press pass. They got a pass from the press and for some reason, and I don't know why it is, you don't hear anything about it. So that's my personal opinion here. I want to know what you think about all of this, all right? I went through the timeline. Once again, I've been reporting on this for 46 months, and I reported it on August 7th when this all transpired, and on the 20th when the official release came out from NASA stating that we are going to bring these astronauts back, but the time frame is going to be a lot further out. I reported on this. This is nothing new to me. And that's why when I hear all of this crazy talk, I state the things that I state because it just simply doesn't make sense to me. The problem with this situation, guys, is it's not black and white. It's not binary. It's not either one or zero. It's something in between. It's gray. 
Because once again, there's truth and there's fallacy woven together. The thing is, and what we need to do, is we need to pull out what is fact and what is fallacy and then decide on our own. The problem is, is people listen to mainstream media all day long and they get indoctrinated. They don't want to do the work. They don't want to do the research. They want someone to tell them what to believe in. They just simply want to be lemmings and just walk behind the next guy off the cliff. I just don't get it. I've never been that way. So once again, I could be wrong here, all right? I've given you everything that I have. There's some things that I might be missing. That's fine. I would rather be wrong than right because if I'm wrong, that means I'm learning, okay? So tell me that I'm wrong and let me know where. I would love to hear it. If I'm right, I would love to hear that too, of course. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, throw the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it with your friends, family, colleagues. Share the video on Reddit and Facebook and everywhere else. That would be very helpful. If you want to say thank you for all of my hard work, there's a thank you button. You can give a dollar or two if you like. If not, it's perfectly fine. The video is still free, right? <laughs> Consider becoming a member of the channel. That would be even better. And if you want to see any of my other coverage on SpaceX, SpaceX Starlink, I put a link right here over 450 videos for you, once again, in the last 45 or 46 months. Take a look at those. There's a lot of good stuff over there. And finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all of my merch and my tees and my cups and my shirts like this one, Megabit, love him, <laughs> and my books over here. If there's something there at jchristina.com forward slash shop, pick it up. Help support me and my family. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay connected, and we'll see you in the next one. Love you all. Hey, one more thing. Today, they're returning. I should be live. Subscribe. Click the notification button over there. So when I do go live, you will be notified of it. Let's hang out together. We'll see you in a minute.